Bill Haney, Devin Haney, let me talk to y'all. Let me start off by saying I love y'all. Y'all eh, y'all are extraordinary people, but when it comes to this boxing game, y'all trash. And I'm going to tell you why you trash, because Bill, you set your son up for failure instead of getting out the way. You should have got out the way a long time ago. When you seen he had problems with Lomachenko, you still had your pride in the way and you wanted to train Devin. Devin, an extraordinary fighter, but he got to get you out of the way and just let you be a father. Instead of you getting out of the way, you ain't have no game plan for him when he got in trouble with Lomachenko. So here you go, playing these games and trying to play with, guess what? Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia pulled your card. Cause Devin ain't had no plan for Ryan. Ryan just kept on the same left hook until he caught him. And now y'all crying. This is what I don't like about the sport of boxing. That they will allow you to cry. Your fans allow you to cry. Just don't tell you the man up and rematch the man. At this point, I don't even think Ryan Garcia wants to rematch you. And see, this is where it goes all the way back. All the way back to Javante Tank Davis. Remember y'all taunted that man for years. Bill, you taunted them. You taunted him for years. Talking crazy about him. Doing, saying bad things about him. Trying to promote and hype around Devin. Knowing you ain't going to fight Tank. You don't even want to see Tank. But you use Tank's name to promote your son. And then you lose, you, you you turn around and use Floyd Nine to promote your son and say he the face of boxing. And we still wondering when he gonna be the face of boxing. How he the face of boxing when he fought people smaller than him. That's the catch. When he fought somebody his size, he kinda had trouble with him. Cause Ryan was on point, he wasn't scared of him. And that's what I told you in my previous video I told you, Ryan was never scared of Devin. He was just playing y'all the whole time. And when he caught him with that left hook in the first round, it surprised him, caught him off balance. So, like I told you, you taunted Tank so much, then you went over to his trainer to try to trash Calvin Ford. Okay, you try to trash the whole team talking about Tank this, tank soft, tank him, call it tank out his name. Man, you did that so much that the sister came on your on, on, on your live and she checked you and saying, man, this is be more finest. Why is you doing this to this young man knowing that where he came from? He came from urban society, which I would call it the hood. And the, in the way, I mean, the way he had to come up so hard and for you to be where you is, trashing him and looking down on him, it didn't really make a bit of sense. You were so hard on him. You was very hard on him. To the fact that, did you think that your son was going to actually copy his style? Yes, he did. He copied his style, his swag, everything about him. Tank got the slugs in the teeth. Devin went and got the slugs in the teeth. Carry his man bag, Devin got a man bag. Huh? Talk about it. Tank go get a Rolls Royce. Huh? He Devin go get a Rolls Man, he copy that man all the way down to the L Boogie, man. And you know that. So maybe y'all want to be like Tank and Calvin Ford. Take a picture. That's what Pee Wee Herman said. It'll last longer. Huh? <laughs> Check that out. Go get you some white shoes. Put them on. Do the Pee Wee Herman. Because Ryan had him doing the Pee Wee Herman all in the ring. Dancing around that, running from that left hook. And at this time, y'all talking about y'all want to up the game. You What you should do. Let me give y'all some pointers right now. And break it down for y'all real cold like. Get Devin a real trainer. Not this garbage you've been teaching them. Because the way... I'm looking, you just been teaching him a basic one, two, and a hook. Cause he can't fight, he, he can't fight when somebody put a press on him. When they put a press on him, 
he don't know what to do. So what, what are you talking about? You need to get out the way. Once y'all get him together, put him back together again, at least give him a tune-up or two tune-up fights to get his confidence and skills back in order because you must be crazy talking about you going to put him in there with ice and pick bull cruise and you looking for that fight. Man, how hilarious. This so ridiculous that you thinking about pit bull throw bombs, man. Man, if he, if if, that, if pit bull catch your son, it's really lights out. It's really lights out. It seems like he's trying to go after the fighters that tank the fought to measure fights to see if he can beat tank. This just proves he can't beat tank. Cause tank stopped running to the body and knocked him down early on so what's that what, what are you looking like what are you looking for now you talking about pitbull cruise man you gassing yourself up or you really just looking to put some more hype around y'all name because look what you said about ryan if he dies he dies you were saying some of the crazy craziest stuff but i look at some of the other channels interviews and they, I don't know if they say you went to media school, you know how to play the media, and you got all these channels that you take to dinner and all that stuff, and they putting all this old crazy content up, man. I think that the content that they putting up is super duper trash. Because y'all knew from early on, y'all knew early on that Devin had a glass chin. Y'all knew that. With Lenores, but y'all didn't want to face the music. Y'all kept dancing around, letting them fight. Campos is too small. Two fights with Campos, too small. That's why he can handle Campos. Because they saying that when he rehydrate, he be like 20 pounds overweight. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they say. I'm just telling you what the rumors is. That's what Pro Gray say. Why y'all calling that man bitches? Y'all be calling him all out his name, call Tank all out his name, call Calvin all his, all his, all his name. Bill, stop it. You need to just stop and let your son get a new trainer. And I bet you Devin will come out explosive. And I bet you he will come back out on top. But you won't get out of the way because you got too much pride. You the king of getting on the internet and talking to the people and, and we love to hear you talk but some of the stuff you say is insane i'll be like is the east in the house oh my god danger I, man i had to take it back to the old school because i don't be believing nothing you say i don't believe nothing you say man let that man be a man let him talk for himself do things by himself like i do with with my children my children they they own they their own bosses. Let that man be his own boss and quit looking at him like a bat. Cause you should have stopped that fight. You should have threw in the towel. You know that. You gotta live with that every day. After that man was getting beat up in the seventh round, they you should have threw the towel in. But you refused to throw in the towel. And that hurt me. Cause I would never let my son, I would never let my son go through nothing like that. My son went through a similar scenario with his cousin kept putting his hands on him but then i'm a boxer i know how to box i boxed before taught my son how to box and my son stopped him so at the end of the day we don't like bullies we don't like bullies and it seems like y'all got a bullying spirit because y'all went in there Devin was bigger than pearl grace you know what i'm talking about he was bigger than that man, and y'all still put him in the ring. What are y'all crying for? Get the loss off his record. Man, all this old uh, hoopla going on all these, uh, all these uh, uh, stations and channels and TV stations. Man, we don't do that. We old school, man. We man up and take ours like a man. We take our, we take our L boogie like a man. A loss is a loss. Hey, you lost but you can go back and fight again and win you just got to sharpen your skills up i got beat up by this one dude man put hands on me man but i went back to the drawing board got my conditioning got everything together came out looking like hulk hogan and put i, I, I beat him so 
bad to the body, Boxy. Britney so bad to the body, he ain't want no more. So what I'm saying to you is, you got to let your son get around some trainers, Hall of Fame trainers. Send him to Derrick James. There's plenty of trainers, Cal. There's plenty, Cal, before. There's plenty of trainers out there. But you won't release because you're trying to be famous. Not trying to make Devin. You're famous. You're the face uh, 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 uh Devin's boxing. You're the one that's famous. Because every time we look up, we barely see Devin. We see Devin when he tweeting, calling people bitches. You know, that we're, other than that, we don't see him. We see you. And you up there starting stuff with Hall of Fame, Bernard Hopkins. You st all in starting stuff talking about Calvin Ford. You broke. You ain't got nothing. So now it look like, hey, guess what? Y'all sitting at the bottom of the totem pole. Them boys came out the mud. Huh? With Rise Podcast. Shout out to Rise Podcast. They got it going on over there with an all-star group. And you're looking crazy right now. Because them boys doing their thing. And they got Adrian Broner over there in camp about to win this one. I'm shout out to Adrian Broner, AB, about billions. Man, I love you, AB. Shout out to AB. But I ain't, I, I, I'm on y'all because you need to get out the way and won't get out the way. You get mad when other channels critique you and talk about you and say something about you. That's what boxing is, is uh, critiquing your faults so you can get on your A game. Get on your A game. But when it come to Tank, Javante Tank Davis, you don't see no chinks in his armors. You want us to talk about him. Ain't no chinks in his armor. The man can fight backwards, going forth, side to side, unilateral. The man can move. He can counter. Hike, huh? take you to the body, come up top. He can hit you with the upper cup. He can hit you with an overhand like he hit with Barrios. Took the fight at 140 when he know he wanted to. He, he's 130 to 135. He don't, that's where he dance at. That's where he make him dance at. Like make him Lance. Like let's say Lance, make him dance, Lance, when he on the court. So look what y'all got to face now. Look what y'all got to do. Y'all ain't y'all can't cry now, cause y'all ain't got nowhere to go. Where you gonna go? I told y'all that before. So you're gonna have to get him some training. Cause it's heat at 135. It's heat at 140. And they talking about he got a mandatory. So I don't know if it's that Matias, but where you gonna go? 147? That's Earl Spence. Where you gonna go to 154? That's Terrence Crawford. Where he gonna go? Where he gonna fight? Cause everywhere he look and turn around, there's smoke. Pitbull Cruz at 140, it's smoke. Why you think Rowley ain't took no fight yet? It's too much smoke out there. I can see the smoke all in the air, all the way. Man, it's just smoke everywhere. Smoke, man, all I see is smoke, man. So shout out. To everybody, I love, I love Bill, I love Devin, but at the time, hey, somebody, some got to give, man. Your trainer came in there and gave y'all pure knowledge of what Ryan was doing in the dressing room when he wrapped his hands and say, man, we got a problem. The boy on point. Y'all should have cut that music off. Y'all should have talked like I do my. My, my children, I, hey, I'm going to talk to them if I see them ain't making the right move so they can let their next move be their best move. You know what I'm saying? But your father putting three-piece suits on, huh? like he a pimp or whatever. Man, Bill, some got to give. All I'm saying is you got to change a little bit. You got to change a little bit so your son can rise to that greatest. Because Devin Cole, don't get it twisted, Devin Cole. But you in the way, I can feel it. It's boiling my spine, my mind. It's boiling me up to see this man wasting a God-given talent because you in the way. You going off of that, 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 that. Maybe hood way or I don't know what type of boxing you teaching him. But he need more. He needs some more trainers, bro. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They going to work him just right. Because sometimes I feel like you overwork him and work him out and you push him too hard. That's why he levitating to other things. You know, we ain't going to talk about it. 
But I think he needs to stay out the club, rubber dub dub. Take the diamonds off and take all that stuff off. And I need he need to go back to where it all started before, like new edition. Say go back to where it started. Where it all started. Oh yeah, listen to the song. You can push it up on YouTube. Huh? It feels so good. That's the name of it. You need to go back to where it all started and get your game plan together. Cause right now y'all playing, man. Y'all playing. Get off the internet. Quit crying. Quit saying somebody. That's like me saying, Ma, come in the house. He keep messing with me. My mama said, get outside. Don't come in here. Crying. Get around some real men and let them show you how to get a win. And that's what I did. And like they, like my uncle reached his head in the car and told my children and my wife, he said, yeah, they used to pick with him and beat on him. But when he started boxing, he was knocking out everything. When he found out that he can knock out everything, that's what he did. Church, I'm gone, y'all. Y'all wake up, man. Quit, 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 quit paying attention to all this trash on the internet. Cotton Clover's Boxing, number one boxing channel in the whole world. Not half the world, I said the whole world. So when you come here, like, comment, and subscribe. If you can't subscribe, we still love you. Peace.